You'll be a fan already of Leanne Moriarty. She's here in the studio. Good to see you again. How are you? Hi. You too, Kyle. I'm excited to be out. You um, are? Yes. Have, have be... you been locked up and have you been in a writing uh, frenzy or have you just been sort of just doing what everyone oh, else is passing the time? Do you get writer's block when, it, when, when you're forced to actually <laughs> stay at home? <laughs> Uh, well, this time I've really just been um, doing all this sort of thing. So normally I'd be on tour, so I'd be doing events and meeting readers. But wow. now I'm just staring at a screen. Are readers the most boring people you can ever think of meeting? No. No, readers, you love them. No, readers are lovely because they tell me nice things and they say, you know, if they read the book when somebody was sick or something like that. Oh, and, so you, know, you hear all the stories. All the stories. Do, do you I, gather? I so nice do to you, hear. Do you gather stories from people that you meet as as well as your own life or how does your mind pull all these stories yeah. together oh definitely from things that i read so from news stories and from uh overheard conversations oh, or, bit of the oh, really? Really? Yeah. 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 have you Anecdotes. written have you written a character in one of your books about someone you know but never told them because the character <laughs> isn't you know <laughs> the most amazing character <laughs> Well, I do know for the character of Madeline in Big Little Lies, I can remember writing down uh, perpetually outraged, yep. like so-and-so, and then I wrote shimmery girl, like so-and-so, oh, and then I put those two things together. And do those girls know or not know? Well, a shimmery girl knows. Yeah, but not, <laughs> not the girl that's always outraged. No, because she'd be outraged. <laughs> she would be outraged. She'd never be able to let it go. <laughs> what is it? What? What do you think is your best book? Or are they like your children you can't pick? They are like my children. No, I, could, I couldn't pick. But I, I guess I do like to think that the most recent book is the best book, so I'm going on an upward trajectory right. rather than... Because I have a, did have one friend who said, oh, I've never reclaimed the magic of Three Wishes, which was my first book. Oh, yeah. what an insult. Really this wow. this, wow. this <laughs> woman? She wow. is, she's no friend. She was trying to say it as a compliment. but <laughs> oh, It's like it's saying, hey, better. it's like when people come up to us and say, hey, you don't look as fat in real life <laughs> yeah, oh, you, as you do on you the used, billboard. You yeah. used to be so good when you were at Today FM. That's right, yeah. 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 Oh, you yeah. used to look so sexy. <laughs> yeah. So the new book, Apple's Never fall this is like when you put a book out like this because you've got movies and tv series being made on your books do you just have everyone reaching out going i want it i want it before they've even read it yeah i uh, mean for, for a for screenplay a, for for a tv show or a movie um yes you do. <laughs> so how, uh, how ma mainly how because wonderful. of the success of big little lies because they did do because I got so lucky that now, did, I was did, part of a winning formula. Did it go to your head when you got that? Did you now think, <laughs> listen, I'm uh, You're queen I'm of the Hollywood. Leanne. Do you, do you say that? Or are you, are you quite grounded still? I've got a lot of people to keep me, to keep me grounded. Who does? Yeah. Do, who keeps you grounded? Who, who in your life is oh, the so realist? My, my husband keeps me grounded. Yeah. He, say, he says, what's so hard about it? You just sit at your desk and you go... Tappity, tappity, oh, tap. Yeah. Feelings, feelings, feelings. Oh, tappity, my God, tappity, it's tap. so beyond that. I love this bloke. I'd marry him if I was homosexual. <laughs> oh, and, uh, and the children, how many kids have you got? I've got two two children. How old are they I now? Can, I'll say hello, George and Anna, because they would be listening. Are they um, uh, teenagers? 13 and 11. Wow. Oh. But they keep me grounded, too, because they say, well, you, you know, you're not exactly JK Rowling. Oh, Do my they? God. Oh, my God, your family. Can I come and join your family? I'll pick you up big time. Oh, so, you need to have that, though, I think, because you can get a little... You don't want to run off thinking you're Elton John all of a sudden. Because yeah. then it, it, you don't want to change the way you operate mm. to be no. able to write. It's true that uh, when I sit down to write, you have to lose your sense of self. So you can't suddenly think, here I am, look at me being a writer. Yeah. Now, uh, yeah. now when you write, do you write with Hollywood stars in mind or do you still write with people around you in mind? No, I honestly don't cast as I go. Yeah, yeah. I know some people think that I do, but I really, I really don't. And they're not people... Even when I said I took those little attributes for Madeline... Yeah. When I took those attributes, she became her own person. She became a, her own right. character. Right, so you build them up yep, based exactly. on multiple different things that you've experienced. Yeah, which yep. is what I think actors do too. I think from meeting actors, I've realised, I think they take mm. people they know and they take little gestures. and right. For sure. Mm. Yeah. Uh, that nine, uh, the Nine Perfect Strangers, uh, th that made me cry a few times. Did and it? I thought, because mm. I've just turned 50, and I thought, is this a 50-plus thing? Uh, why am I... Bubbling a little, but you know, and getting There's all emotional. There's moments in her. Because yeah. the overall story makes you think 
like you don't normally think. Like mm. when you see all these people going through mm. struggles, all different, the, the uh, substance abuse and emotional d- 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 letdowns. Mm. I think I've had a one of every one of those characters. They are all me. We should send you off to Tranquillum House. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's real. It's a little we'll, bit terrifying. We'll that cure you. <laughs> Have you ever done those things where you went to one of those places and got on the gear and... Uh, wrote yourself off mentally <laughs> and, you know. <laughs> no. Would, you know, there are places like yeah, that. With yeah, no, no. I, w- I went to, for my research, I went to a very nice, um, I went to the Golden Door. Oh, um, oh yeah, you did, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is oh, that the I'm place right that you go to, Brooklyn and Surrey Hills? I'm assuming it's different. No, <laughs> it's one. different. Oh, <laughs> that's some gay <laughs> joint. He goes to oh, the Golden really? Door. Oh, really? I don't know what goes <laughs> on there. Uh, that's a story, let me I tell feel, you. I feel it might be a little bit different. Maybe I don't know. I feel it is. Wow. And, uh, yeah, I, I just watched that whole thing and they haven't put the last two episodes out and I thought, wow, this is quite emotional. Like, yeah, oh, should you watch that you... sort of show high or not? Well, then you would um, become part of the character's experience. That's exactly right? yeah, how I feel. I, w- I wouldn't not recommend it. I don't <laughs> <know>. <laughs> you do what you're allowed to do, I feel. How, do, how nerve-wracking is it for you to watch something like that and, and hope and pray that they're doing your book justice? Um, well, I've always just handed it over and then let go. And as I said, I've got very lucky because in both cases I had these incredible casts um, and so it's not it's not really mine anymore when I hand it over. You must see and something yep. though and pause it and go, what the hell? <laughs> That's not what I... Re-. You know how the people go, oh, it's yes. not as good as the book. Yeah, 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 because they do change it a lot, don't you, they? Yeah, you'd do. know more than anyone. You, you must be pausing it and getting very angry <laughs> and Yeah, because it's swearing. your story. So you must at some point go, well, now why did they do that? No, but I, I always think when people say to me beforehand, they say, well, I hope they don't change your book. I always think... I always say to them, but uh, they can't change my book because there's my book. It's That's there. True. It will always be there. And your experience of reading the book is quite individual. So yeah. every single reader has a different experience of reading. Oh, because of their own imagination exactly. and how they visualise yes. things. Right. So what's, yeah. what's the new one about Apples Never Fall? Uh, so it's about uh, retired tennis coaches, Joy and Stan Delaney, and what happens when uh, Joy goes missing and so Stan, they're quite a normal family, though. Normal seem family. happy and yes, yeah, seem yeah. well, well off. Yep. And Stan is uh, accused of her possible murder, wow. and her therefore adult children have to deal with the um, possibility that their father. Imagine their that, mother. Jackie. Imagine if your uh, your mother disappeared, and you think. My family's a wonderful family, but when you start sniffing around and looking through papers, you start seeing you realise, hang on, before. Uh, maybe mm. it's not all as it seems. So I'm going to ask you a question, which, you know, you, I don't know if you'll answer, but do, if you could have anyone play the, the mum <laughs> in, in this book. I, I honestly haven't got anyone in you my don't. head yet, except when I was writing the book, I remember walking down the street and a lady walked by me, just a tiny lady, and I thought, oh, there you are. That's That was Joy. Oh, it was did exactly you, did you tell her that? Really? No, no, no that you don't want to look like a weird psychic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Especially because doesn't she go missing and is she, she murdered? Yes, <laughs> oh, you're the woman. Right. You remind me of the woman that I murdered in my book. <laughs> yes, in the middle of Westfield. You'd be like, what the hell? Is this? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> and I you remember ages it. ago when you first broke through, like, obviously great uh, writer, but when the, the TV people started coming, in, you came on the show mm. and uh, you, I said, you must have some junk somewhere that you don't want. <laughs> and you said you'd done some dumb wizard thing that you didn't like. <laughs> I feel that I didn't say some dumb wizard. No, you know, I'm paraphrasing. <laughs> I feel, I feel I'm said, paraphrasing. I feel I said that it was a very quality children's oh, was, book oh, series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe <laughs> yeah, you did say that. Yeah, it just wasn't like what uh, you're doing now. And then exactly. I said, well, give that to me. And you said, yeah, and then you never rang up. No, it's was yours. I to ring you? It's yours. You have to start doing it now. But was Is I it, to ring you or were you no, to you ring... you just have to start getting... You meet all the celebrities so you could start casting... Uh. Oh, so, so, we were, so we were yeah. we were we're in business. Together. We are, we are. It's yours. And you must have been thinking, but oh, you, this you, guy's slow. You're going to charge. Yeah. You charge him for it, though. Hey, right? hey. And you can, I think I could let him option it for free. Because wow. he'll have to buy it, though, to actually... Sold. Produ- yeah. I'll do that, oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you. I don't I'll know how it all works can, when you have a well, book Well, you know, when you, you can option it and there's a certain amount and then when they actually buy the rights... Then you get so, the money. Yeah. 
That's yeah. when you get it. Okay. Where do you keep all your money? Do you keep it in a <laughs> safe or are you investing that or what do you do? Are you buying property? You must be going crazy. Yeah, that's a great question. <laughs> you carry it all around yeah. in that giant handbag yeah, or what's happening? Just, yeah, I've got a, a woman out there who's just carrying it with me. <laughs> <laughs> but what do your friends, do they go, well, we never would have thought, Leanne, that uh, that would have turned into something. Have you got some real sort of Aussie chick friends like that that are surprised how great you've done? Uh, well, I don't know. Hmm, I don't. They always knew I wanted to be a writer. I do have some friends who sometimes, you know, I've become friends with Nicole. Yeah, she's lovely. She is lovely. And I do have some friends who say to me, so she's really wants to be your friend. And I say, yeah, well, how are you? You're <laughs> my friend. What they're surprised that they thought that... wouldn't she? They're surprised that a Hollywood actor would... Yeah, it? yeah. Isn't that funny? Yeah, they say, that's nice of her, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> like it's uh, some sort of charity to be yeah, nice exactly. to <laughs> Can I ask you, I think my daughter is a good writer. Oh, mm. God, and here I we do. Go. <laughs> Get out while you can. No, no, I know. Mm. I, I, people say this about their kids all the time, but mm. I actually think she has got talent. What would you do to harness a kid? She's 10. Mm. What would you say ten. to, yeah, what, when did you know and what would you say would be the best thing for her to do as a 10-year-old? Just keep writing as mm. much as you can. Anything, any tips? Well, when I was 10 was when my father used to uh, commission me t- to write books. So my sister and myself, he actually gave us our first publishing deals. So he'd pay a dollar for an exercise book. Filled with words. Wow, big wow. money. Wow, yeah. big money. That's and amazing. Yeah. What a great way to, to oh, for your dad to do. Yeah. yeah. And, and then he had a roulette wheel, a plastic roulette wheel, and then he'd play roulette against us and win back all the money. Um, oh, the guy's a genius. <laughs> <laughs> because kids, you can manipulate very yeah. easy. Yes, yeah. But it made us feel validated and it made it feel like it really was our job. I love so that. Treat, treat her writing seriously. But also, uh, also, she should write for pleasure. Don't tell her she's really going to get published. No, um, no. So yeah. just yeah, because she does enjoy it. Encouragement yeah. with truth yeah. is the way forward, don't you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And do you play uh, any sort of uh, uh, lucky dip games with your kids for their future? The lucky dip, yeah. Well, you know, with the little spinning like, wheel. Oh, the spinning wheel. No, any of this. No, you don't encourage your. You're too busy writing. I'm too busy writing. Too busy yeah. making money to yeah. worry about yeah. your kids' future. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't take any notice of them. <laughs> I'm just sitting there at the computer doing the tappity tappity tap. How often thing. do you yeah. go? Shh, Mum's trying to earn a living. Do you say that the shush? No. Well, my desk is treated with cheerful disrespect by my children. Oh, there. fabulous yes. to hear. My husband calls it a hot desk and says, "No, anybody can just come and." Sit in here. Yeah, it sounds like your husband's <laughs> extremely jealous of your success. Oh, no, don't say that. He'll be listening. No, he's not. No, no, no. No, of course not. But see, what a wonderful life. I know. Mm. Doesn't it sound so lovely? Nice family, really successful well, when, mama this, writer. When's the uh, apple tree book thing out? When's that thing? What's that now. called? Now. It's, a, it's out today. Apples oh, Never oh, Fall is out today. I yeah. love that. What, yeah. And how do you come up with the names? Is that hard, the name of the book? Mm. Yeah, well, f- because this is a book about tennis, for a long time I was calling it all tennis sort of names. And then oh, and then the opening scene has some apples lying on the grass and then the apples never fall about, you know, what do you Oh, that's too deep. Parents. You need to get back to <laughs> 15 Love, you should have called it. <laughs> yeah, those were all the sort of titles I had. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Double Fault. Yeah, that exactly. Would've, did you have that up there? That was all on my list. Keep was going. It? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't want to waste time. To, I don't want to be coming up with the ideas you've thrown off the list. <laughs> it's so nice to see you. I'm, I, I feel proud of you. I don't I barely know you. Mm. Mm. Oh, thank but you. I, I, yeah. From thank Nicole, you. I know Nicole and Keith, mm. and she did, does speak, even when you're not around, very highly of you. Does she, even when yeah. I'm not around? <laughs> what has she said about me? Um, she's uh, well. I'm she sure be, she, she speaks said very nothing. Very You've heard nothing. Isn't you. that amazing? We haven't chatted. Well, get on the phone you, on the I'm way. Sure. When you leave here, ring her and say, hey, I'm just... I'm sure she with... adores you. She's, she does. She's yeah, lovely. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> did you watch Keith on The Voice? Uh, oh, no was, support for yeah, her husband, eh? I think I was watching Survivor. Oh. I love Survivor. Oh, I love Survivor. This, Survivor. Yeah, this was a good season. Who did I you thought. want to win? I wanted George because I've got yeah. a son called George. Yeah. yeah. She was yeah. good, Hayley, though. Uh, she, yeah, she was a good was player. Good. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 on that thing at the end. Oh, yeah. Wait till I tell Keith mm. that you didn't even watch his show. <laughs> <laughs> I, no, I love Keith because Keith helped me up on the stage at the Emmys. He's very... He's, oh, he did too? He did, and I held on to did him. Did you fall over or something or what happened No, no, I didn't fall. 
<laughs> Something <laughs> happened there. Nothing happened except that he's he offered me his hand and I held on to him. Oh, really. what is show pony yeah, trying yeah. to chime in on your <laughs> wing? <laughs> no, I because ne- I don't wear high heels, you know, much anymore. So, <laughs> what did you want to wear? You just wanted to wear the masseur sandals I up there. N- no, what I you was happy wear? to wear my high heels, but I didn't <laughs> want to fall. I didn't want to become a, who's yeah, the one who the, falls the, all the time? Jennifer Lawrence. That's right. Jennifer yeah. Lawrence. Yeah, yes, yeah. I didn't want to become like her. Yeah. She she looks cute. I would have looked ridiculous. She does look cute when, when she, she falls. falls. She yeah. falls and stops. Where if I fell, I'd roll yes. down, fall down, <laughs> yes. hurt my fingers, and I'd probably name. hurt myself. <laughs> I, well, look, all the great success to you. You don't need it from us. Everyone oh, no. knows Leanne's new book, Apples Never Fall. Is out now in all good bookstores. Your publisher must love you. <laughs> oh. Do they send over gifts and all that stuff? <laughs> not, not enough. Yeah, not more, enough. more gifts. Do they ever gifts. rush you? No, they. Well, I ask for extra time with this book, so um, I, that? and I meet my deadline. Why I did just you wanted. Need, you, you didn't. You didn't have it ready. No, I just asked for more time. I, well, I decided I was, wanted to have, I was calling it a year of joy. And luckily I didn't make it 2020. It was 2019 was my year of joy. Oh, thank yeah. God. Oh, so eh? you wrote this 2020, so I, did you? Well, actually I did in the end. I started writing some of it and I found out writing does bring me joy. Because I was saying it's all going to be about me that year, but... Good. Uh, I still found How selfish. To write. I know it was. It was very <laughs> self-indulgent. But you can be now, can't you? <laughs> so, have you, before you go... Yeah, this is the latest. Uh, everyone should get it, and all, all readers will add it to their list. It, are you starting on something else yet, or do you give yourself a break? I give myself a break. Yeah. How I'm long? Got, Two uh, weeks? Where are we talking? A little bit more than that. Kentucky I mean, over to Vanuatu <laughs> or something? Oh, where do you do? Any, anywhere, if I could yeah, use my oh, passport, I would use it. Yeah. Mm. How do you come? Like, what is the, the the starting point usually for you? How do you decide? Like, where where do you even begin with? the story. Jackie, it's just, she probably wants to be a writer now. She's <laughs> met you. She's like that. Like, like just, with this, obviously being ex-tennis coach, it's like, how, yeah. what's, this, what's the first part? Well, in this case, actually, because it was in that year of joy and I was deciding I wouldn't write a new book and I said to my sister, who's the novelist Jacqueline Moriarty, oh. I said, text me a writing prompt and I won't write a novel, I might write a short story. And she sent me a few sentences that described a bike lying on the grass with apples next to oh, it. Oh, magpie that, attack. Is that what's <laughs> happened? No, that could have worked. Oh, but you no. should have rung me. She gave me that. She gave me that and that was a little... A little starting point that's in the very first chapter and then i had my premise of how would you feel if you, you, your mother went missing and everybody thought your father had, um, had, had killed, her. Yeah. killed her yeah oh, and then i'd also read a newspaper article about an elderly couple who had a young woman knock on their door late at night and they let her stay the night uh and there was oh. a uh, yeah oh this is the other one that's coming out right is this out no, no, that that was just a little, a little. So, just the idea of a stranger knocks on your door and what happens. But isn't next. that a isn't that a movie that's a, out? Uh, uh, it probably it's not. Well, it's. Are true. you it's saying not. she's plagiarised? <laughs> sorry, no, no, no. It's just no, <laughs> it's not. No. It's not. It's not a unique literary no, device. No, sorry, sorry. To be honest, a stranger <laughs> knocks on the door. But it was just yeah, those, true. those those three things that I've got: the bike, I've got the missing a mother and I've got and that's somebody knocks and then I just start writing and hope something not enough happens. prostitutes and illegal drugs in your books I feel um I well there's so, there's no. plenty of illegal drugs in yeah, well, perfect strangers yeah. oh, well that's a different yeah actually that's true <laughs> yeah. that uh, is yeah. you've written some amazing stuff and, and yeah. best of luck for the future you don't need luck but oh thank you I love thanks, it thanks Leon oh, thank you Jackie thank, thank you, you so for much. coming in good to see you you too yeah you too. Uh, thank you book, for letting me out you're welcome <laughs> Apples <laughs> Never Fall is out now Leanne Moriarty am I saying your name right Leanne Moriarty so the answer is no I'm not no, saying, I'm saying right. yeah, <laughs> nearly it was very Leanne. close <laughs> I'm trying, trying, trying. Well, it's good to see you yeah thanks you Leanne too. thanks thank so much thank you